hi there. How long have you been watching? Anyhow, I'm here inside the greenhouse. It's a little bit chilly. It's 65 degrees Fahrenheit. I always come here every morning just to make sure my plants are okay and it seems like they're doing well. So today we're going to continue the video series on jade plant. On the first part series, we learn how to propagate them from leaves and also from stem cuttings. And in the second part of the video, we learn how to grow the jade and we give them the four basic needs like the good fertilizer, water, good soil, and sunlight. So today we're going to be learning about the common problems on jade plants. So let's get started and join me to the table. Hi everyone, this is Marceline at CashierGreens.com. Thank you for watching and if you like the idea or the content of this video, please consider to subscribe below. Also, don't forget to share with all your friends, especially friends who enjoy growing plants and are looking for plants to grow indoor. Jade is one of the most beautiful succulent plants to grow inside your home. Not only they are beautiful and easy to grow, they can well adjust with the temperature inside the house. But like all other plants, jade can have problems too. They can get infected with pests and diseases and some other environmental factors. So today we're going to cover all of these common diseases and common problems on jade. So when you grow this plant, you know exactly what to look for. Okay, y'all. I just want to know how come you haven't subscribed yet. I got up over 30 day ain't gone videos out there. And I ain't getting enough subscriptions. How come y'all haven't subscribed yet? Well, what's the purpose of all subscribing? Because when you subscribe, you help out my channel. And also, YouTube likes to send out more videos to everybody else as a recommended video. So, what do you think about that, Ma? Yo. Subscribe, yo. That was pitiful, Ma. <laughs> this is my jade plant. As you can see, there are there are some damages to the leaves. This is the result of sunburn. I'm gonna show you here. So see that? I keep this plant outside last summer and the extreme heat burnt the leaves. The jade takes sunlight at least four to six hours. So if you grow jade and you want to give them sunlight, uh, give them a morning sunlight, and then keep them away in the late afternoon especially if you have hot summer so you can put them uh, take them in, inside your house or put them under the tree they can still get sunlight but the sunlight is filtered so don't expose this to the sunlight because they're very sensitive and if they didn't kill the plant but it just look ugly so what i'm going to do here i'm going to transfer this plant to a bigger pot because this is too small of a container they outgrow the, the the plant outgrow with the container as you can see it's already have these big branches and it's heavy so i'm going to transfer this in a bigger bigger pot this is the end of the video and i hope i cover everything the most common problem on jade plant i don't have problem in my jade except for the sunburn because i keep the plants outside all summer long and it burns the leaves so if you grow jade and you want to take them out during summer give them a morning sun and keep them in the late afternoon take them inside the house or put them under the tree they can still get sunlight but it is filtered now if you have experienced black spot the treatment is to remove remove the leaves the infected leaves thoroughly and then disinfect your plants after you remove these foliage and you can use uh, alcohol or horticultural uh, pesticide but I would recommend to use alcohol first because it's non-invasive and it doesn't hurt your plants as opposed to using the uh, other uh, treatment now if you spray with the alcohol you can spray directly or pure alcohol or you can mix the alcohol 1% to a quart of water then spray your plant the most important thing you apply a basic hygiene to your plants so that's the, the way you can treat them and if you have problem with root rot this is the cause of edema edema is the accumulation of water in the cell so when the plant cannot take excessive water so what happened it creates blister so if you can see the sign of blistering on the leaves and that is the sign of edema so the cell uh, uh, swell and burst now to treat them the only way you can do is to remove the plant 
take the plant out, dry it out, use the, the fan to dry the, the root. And then if you see uh, root rot, you remove those black root because you don't want want them, those uh, root and remove them and keep the healthy roots. And then repot them using the different soil. Make sure that your soil is uh, good drainage. Use the perlite, 50% 50, 50, 50 perlite, 50% 50 uh, cocoa fiber, or you can use a uh, uh, mix your soil with sand. So those are uh, a good media for the jade. Now, watering is not necessary to water all the time, especially winter because the plant is less active during winter season. So you can water them maybe once in three weeks. It's okay to not water them. And you can you allow your plants to dry and damp. So if it is too dry, then water them, but just uh, water them minimal. And another problem that people have they have this uh, like yellowing yellowing of the leaves and then the leaves fall off so that is the cause of also of too much water you know too much water so you have to limit your water during winter season if it is summer you can water them more often maybe twice a week and i hope i cover everything so if there is any question comment below and see you next week bye bye